wake up, this is what you gotta do. You gotta crush the day before it crushes you. Every day I'm here to motivate, lead the way in the AM. I don't want you to hear these words, I need you to feel what I'm saying. Oh, no. you gotta crush the day before it crushes you. You gotta crush the day before it crushes you. In the building, Jimmy Wilson, motivation's coming, I can feel it. First thing that you need to do is crush the day before it crushes you. You have greatness inside of you that's begging to be let free. And the only way to do it is to share your story. And I think it's something that so many people are afraid of doing because they don't want to be judged. I have this conversation uh, with a lot of people and one person in particular who I won't use their name, uh, but I remember when we were talking about him joining our Apex program and using social media to generate more business, right? That's a lot of what we talk about in there, but his concern was telling his story and letting people know that he had a DUI and he had gone through with this addiction to drinking, but had cleaned up his life and was sober and obviously on the path to being a recovering addict his whole life. I mean, it's not like you're an addict and then you're not an addict. You're always an addict in recovery. And this gentleman had accepted that and was okay with it and very proud of who he was and what he had accomplished. But yet he was afraid that by sharing his story, it could affect his client's vision of him because he was in a position where you know, he handled finances and, and money, and he was just concerned that people wouldn't trust him if they knew he had dealt with this struggle in the past. And so it's knowing the situation, like, and how it turned out, it's funny because to me, I know how scared he was in that moment. And I was trying to reiterate to him just to be confident, to tell that story, because everyone has a story. Everyone has struggles and things that they've been through. And the folks that we tend to have the most appreciation for that we really enjoy are the ones who made it through that struggle, right? When you think about actors and, and musicians and famous people, when you read their autobiography, a lot of time they had to go through some pretty serious struggles in order to get where they are, where we look at them as this icon or this symbol of someone who's put in the work to get the success and the fame. And the only way for you to really get your greatness and your fame is to share your story. And so whatever you're going through, whatever you've been through, talk about those things. Put it out there. The more you can use your um, experiences to extract the lessons and educate or entertain your audience with them, the better you will be as a human being. And... In doing that, you will prove yourself as the expert, as the authority, as the go-to person for what you offer in the marketplace. And ideally, in business, that's that's the best kind of marketing. Being the authority, being the one that everybody knows. And the only way to do that is to share your story. Because there's someone out there who can benefit from it. There's someone out there who needs it. And your greatness is waiting for you to start telling it to the world. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to go back and check out all the previous episodes. Make sure you subscribe and share this podcast with other like-minded, success-driven individuals who want to crush it. Check the show notes and grab your Crushing the Day swag over at crushingtheday.com. And remember, crush the day before it crushes you. You gotta crush the day before it crushes you.